there. I am Baron Bones, and welcome back to From the Crypt. Today, we talk about Wolf Cop. For those of you who do not know, Wolf Cop was a basically straight-to-DVD horror comedy released by a Canadian production crew back in 2017. It was directed by Lowell Dean and stars Leo Farfed as Lou, a pretty much drunk police officer who does one thing for most of his time as a police officer in a small town in Canada. That is, he drinks constantly. Every time, throughout the entirety of the day. Till one night, he wakes up to find that there is a strange pentagram carved into his skin, and he seems to have certain abilities that he didn't have before. It's not long before he finally fully transforms into a werewolf, and now it's up to Lou with his new wolf-like skills to find out who did this to him and why. So Wolf Cop is the perfect example of a movie that has a ludicrous concept but manages to work by embracing how ludicrous this concept really is. You see, the story here is quite simple. You have our main character who really isn't a good cop until finally he becomes a werewolf. When he becomes a werewolf, he seems to become a very better cop and even a better person. Now, this might be because the alcohol he consumes seems to manage to allow him to keep his humanity when he becomes a werewolf, but that's only kind of mused upon in the movie. We really don't understand why this guy in particular doesn't lose all faculties when he becomes a werewolf. And, but by allowing him to have his faculties, the movie allows for some absolutely ludicrous scenes that just ooze all the fun and absolute insane nature that a movie like this needs. Now, horror comedies are always hit and miss. Usually they either focus too much on the comedy, and it's not funny, or they focus too much on the horror, and it's not scary enough. This movie does focus more on the comedy aspect as opposed to the horror elements. But because of how well the film is written, there are a lot of good chuckle moments. There aren't any moments that are full-on belly laughter worthy, but there are some really good, fun, enjoyable moments in this uh, film that I really wasn't expecting to enjoy. That being said, it's not the best story. There's nothing really being said here. It's just focusing on this guy as he tries to struggle with the fact that he's a werewolf, while also trying to track down the fact that the people who uh, did this to him. It's absolutely a insane film, but it's fun. Unfortunately, the characters aren't developed all that well. Most of the characters are one note and forgettable. To be fair, though, in a film like this, you don't really need deep character development. You just need to have a character that I set my care for and your main character, and this film has that. So I would say the characters are serviceable. All the performers are doing a very decent job. No one's doing a fantastic job, and there aren't any true standouts. But everyone's doing a well enough job that the film does have a lot of enjoyment to it. The visuals are also really well done. The practical effects for a film like this are really top-notch. I mean, this movie had like a million dollar budget, and the werewolf effects, transformation effects, and werewolf makeup are all really well done. In retrospective, last week's movie, See No Evil, had an $8 million budget and looked atrocious. I gotta say, this film proves that even with a small budget, you can do amazing things. There are some scenes that aren't really all that well done. Like there's the outdoor of this donut shop convenience store place that looks really, really poorly done. But hey... You gotta take some and leave some. The music's really good for a film like this. There's some really good rock beats and just amps up the absolute insane nature of this film. At the end of the day, Wolf Cup is a very fun movie. 
it has a lot of insane uh, concepts and insane over-the-top uh, th scenes that work really well to the film's advantage. At the end of the day, I found myself really enjoying this film, and I recommend this one to anyone who's looking for a good horror comedy that's just absolutely absurd. Just don't go into it expecting something perfect because, well, films like this aren't meant to be perfect. They're just meant to be enjoyed. Anyway, that's what I felt about Wolf Cop. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And next week, I begin by looking at two films uh, from the La Casa Italian horror franchise. Starting with La Casa 3, a.k.a. Ghost House. See you then. And as always, stay terrified. <laughs>